everyone, welcome back to Last of Us Part 2. I think this is it. I think we're actually about to beat this game. It was a long game. So much controversy spread it all over its butt cheeks. Like butter on toast. But so far, it has been not the worst game. It does not deserve, what was it, a 3 out of 10 from user scores. And I don't think the game is a 10 out of 10. Easily not a 10 out of 10. Probably an 8 and a half. I don't like giving halves, so pretty much a 9. A, a very low 9. <laughs> I'd play it again. Like, I had fun with the gameplay. And the story somewhat makes me want to listen to it. I'm going to skip cutscenes that I don't like most of the time if I replay it. Other than that. Yeah, I'm looking forward to play it again. Maybe catch some stuff I missed. And obviously, probably not record it. So I can have fun by myself. Because I've been talking to you guys the whole time. I haven't been ignoring. This is our adventure on the game that got a 3 out of 10 somehow. And I feel like Abby's going to fuck us up again. Holy... There's a lot of people. Abby? Oh, that's Abby. No. Is that not Abby? Is this Abby? Wait, this is Abby right here. Not Abby. Where's Abby then? Probably one coffin. Wait, you're Abby? No, you're not. Help me. Please. Oh my god. They fucked her up. Please be alive, Lev. You were already skinny. Abby. I got you. I got you. There goes this way. Abby? I can't pull out my gun. I wasn't gonna shoot her if I could, but I was just testing it. Ellie, please be okay. Come on, man. Eat something. Eat a can of beans. What is Ellie gonna do? Change of heart? Is she gonna ask why she did it? <sighs> What's gonna happen? I hear footsteps. I think I did. Oh, this is the boat at the ending screen.
What are you gonna do? I can't let you leave. She will. No, that's. He's not a part of this. You made him a part of this. doesn't want to fight. Bro, she is so malnourished. She definitely do not want to fight. Look at her. I don't... <laughs> this is fucked up. Man, I don't feel good about this. I don't feel good about this song. You obviously don't want to play. Man, what am I gonna do about lead? Fine. I can punch. Good old Russell Tussle. Ah. Counter. Bop. Counter. Bop. Oh, okay. Counter. Do something again. Do something again. Bop. Oh, yeah. Woo. 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 What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Ha ha ha! Woo! Woo! Ah! Woo! Woo! Ah! Do something again. Woo! Ba! <laughs> ba! Oh, that's stupid. I pressed that one. Ah! Just take care of love, man. No, don't, don't get back up, Abby, you don't look like Abby anymore, she obviously don't want to do this. What do I do, guys? I guess we strike. <laughs> Is 
Lev gonna come out? Oh, she bit two fingers off? Yikes. Man. Abby has some strong teeth. You would think her jaw would be weak from all that fucking up that I did on her. God damn! I was like Mike Tyson in the ring. You would have thought she was missing some teeth. Yeah, they moved. They moved, Ellie. <laughs> so we let Abby go. Uh, okay. I guess she remembered that. I don't know. Jill had a good life, maybe. Yeah, she moved. So we saved Abby, but then we're like, yeah, never mind. We're not saving Abby. I want to fuck Abby up. And then it went to, all right, yeah, I'm going to let her go. <laughs> there has to be something to it. They show that picture of Joel with the guitar. It had to be a reason for it. Like, Joel was good natured too. Maybe... She thought Joel wouldn't want Joel. Joel wouldn't want her to kill for him. Hopefully, there's something at the actual end.
play that guitar, Joel. Play it right. So there was a purpose. This is the little scene that popped up right before Ellie changed her mind while killing Abby. Let's see what Joel says. Drinking coffee. Where'd you get that? Uh, those people that came through last week. Oh. I'm a little embarrassed as to what I had to trade to get it, but not bad. I had Seth under control. Yeah, I know. And you need to stop harassing Jesse about my patrols. Okay. Uh, Dina. Is she your girlfriend? <laughs> no. Did Joel no, just she, find out? That was just one kiss. It doesn't mean anything. She just... I don't know why she did that. But you do like her. girl's intentions are but but I do know that she would be lucky to have you you're such an asshole I'm not trying to I was supposed to die in that hospital my life would have fucking mattered but you took that from me Somehow, the Lord gave me a second chance at that moment. I would do it all over again. I don't think I can ever forgive you for that. But I would like to try.
That's it. <sighs> so. Uh, I doubt there's going to be any after credit scenes, but... I'm pretty sure she stopped killing Abby because of that one scene. And the reason was because Joel said if the Lord gave him a second chance, he would take it. So Ellie instinctively gave Abby a second chance because those are from the words of Joel. And that's what she would have done, I think. I don't know. That's what I'm taking away from it. That's why she stopped drowning Abby. Because of the second chance. Maybe Abby will come around. Like I said, that's what I took away from it. I don't know if you take that away from it. Or if you just take it away as... Yeah, Ellie just saved uh, uh, Abby for no reason. No, okay. Some people might take it that way. Like, where's the revenge? Why didn't Ellie kill her? And it really make it clear. So now I have to try to uh, fix, uh, unfix the puzzle. I don't. Um, so, I don't know, there's a lot of messages at the end right there, Ellie lost everything, Abby lost everything, and the revenge was pointless for both of them? <laughs> the revenge for Ellie got her beat up by the person she was chasing, and then Abby got beat up because she went after Ellie they both fought each other both nearly dead because of this revenge because of hatred and Joel's words if I had a second chance from the Lord I would have taken it so maybe Ellie is taking her second chance Abby's taking her second chance Tommy, I don't know because they ended the game. I didn't get to see Tommy. I don't get to see Dina. Jesse's dead, which is a bummer. That's why I interpret Second Chance. They all fell apart because of this hatred of losing someone. And then uh, Joel's words came to Ellie at last second. Which fixed her mind, I guess. I don't know. Damn. Uh, I might have to play the game again. I didn't hate the ending. I just, I'm left with answers now. Which I'm sad about. Same with The Last of Us Part 1. Joel told Ellie a lie, which they fixed in this game instantly, actually. Uh, Ellie figured out it was obviously a lie. I think she figured out in that in the first game They definitely punctuated on that It's what made her so angry that Abby killed Joel at the beginning um, Dina didn't seem too mad that Jesse was dead But who cares I guess I, I guess Dina doesn't care I hope there's an end credit scene. That, like I said, might not be an end credit scene, but I would love to see something with Tommy and Dina with this. Quit to main menu. I think it's just credits. Here, let me. I 
I don't know if it's a thing. Um. I don't know. I don't see anything on there being end credits after scene. So if I miss it, I miss it. Uh, no. New game plus unlock, that's nice I guess. We do get a new background though, which looks nice. Wait. Oh, uh, no. Uh, so, I don't see a outfit, whatever you call it, changer. Like in The Last of Us 1, Rat King. What? Is that that big? That's a... And a rattler. Oh, that's... That's what that thing was. I remember... Uh, at a certain area. I can't remember. Oh, no! That's at the end of the game. That's one of the clickers at the end of the game, I'm assuming. Wait, no. Here we go. That's the Rat King. Wow. Disgusting. <laughs> that is nasty. And then there's that little lower half that breaks off and runs away. The main half. Yeah, that's nasty. He's blind though, right? He don't even have ears really. How did he see me? That's another clicker on the side. Man, this really just looks like... Uh... It looks like the thing you become... Oh, um... I shouldn't have said that, never mind. I'm just gonna say, it reminds me of Inside. Play Dead's Inside. That's all I'm gonna say. If you've never played it, then that's why I'm gonna keep it a secret what happens. And then... Stalker half. Oh, yeah, this thing. Man, they did a good job on the monster design. And if I wasn't wrong, Neil Druckmann came out and said they might be working on a multiplayer. I liked the multiplayer in the first game. It was really fun. So if they add one here. Charter 4 is, I don't know if you could say it's underrated, but not much people really touch it compared to like Uncharted 2. Uncharted 2 is the best one in my opinion but Charter 4 had a lot of new stuff yeah that doesn't look like Abby at all all that sunburn oh my god they cut her hair man Yeah, compared to when she arrived in California, compared to, wow, <laughs> that is dramatic. <laughs> and then at the log, heli. <sighs> Maybe she becomes like Joel. Who knows? Maybe she'll take on the influence of Joel. Side jobs. Yeah. That's... Seems about it. Dina Farm.
with the baby. <laughs> and Jesse. I actually like Jesse. Kind of sad he died too. Tommy on the farm. I wish I got to see a scene with Tommy at the end. His leg all fucked up. His eye got messed up. <sighs> Lev. We got Lev when he was tied up. Unfortunately, I'm not seeing it. But we do got Lev with hair. Look at him. Fun fact. I think he's modeled... And voiced by a transgender person. I forgot the name of the actor, but that's interesting. I really like Lev. I hope they make Last of Us Part 3. I won't incentivize against it. Incentivize? Is that the word? I won't hate on them for doing it. But if they do go through with it, they gotta pull... They, they gotta... Make the fan base happy. You know. They gotta do something to bring people back together. Because they hate this game. This game. And Abby's father. Uh, Marlene. JJ. Was uh, their kid's name. Seraphite. That was the one I. Sliced. Look at this. Big ogre bastard. Damn. Look at the water run down his head. Man. The graphics were good. The story was... It was interesting. I don't know if it really completely fell on me like The Last of Us 1 did. Last of Us 1 was something special to me. This one... I don't know. I... We should went into a different direction, but I'm not the writer. Neil Druckmann and someone else is, so they get to do what they want. Um, but yeah, Last of Us One had uh clothing options. You know, any extra settings you can put different clothes on. Play through the game again with all the upgrades. And equipment attained from the ple previous playthrough. Upgrades and crafting re recipes will be available from the start of the game. Weapons will become available upon Ellie's revival in Seattle. Revi- Re- Wait, what did it say? No, I'm not seeing it. Unfortunately. How long do we play? 20 hours exactly. 138 collectibles. That's pretty good. I mean, I can't hate on that. And there you go. 3.12 a.m. <laughs> uh, I need to go to sleep. But I don't know if I can now. I'm just going to be thinking of this game. I missed a bunch of stuff. Coins. I didn't even get a single coin there. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna have to end it there. Dang I. Oh yeah, they had all this. Where is it? I think you can only do it in game, but you can change. Oh, right here. Yeah. Hostage, don't escape. Allies will automatically escape when grabbed by enemies. Enemies don't flank. Uh, reduced enemy perception so they can't see. Accuracy of shooting. Enhanced dodge. Well, dodging was already easy. Invisible while proning? If set to limited, the time limited will be pay limit will be based on the stealth difficulty settings that's if set to limited 
So, can I do infinity? <laughs> Enables camera sway while aiming gun. Slow motion. Reduces gaming speed when enabled. When set to toggle, use swipe right to toggle slow motion. Slow motion. Yeah, I like that. Oh, yeah. Invisibility while prone. Unlimited. Oh, my God. That's going to be so fun. Slow motion while aiming. That might be tedious. I might have to set it to toggle. I might have to do that on a stream. Just crawl through the whole game. <laughs> how long will it beat the how long will it take to beat The Last of Us Part 2? Crawling. I could see it. It might take a long time, but it might be worth it. Infinite breath. Swimming in the water. Eh. Skip puzzle. What puzzles were there? Enhanced listen mode. Lay guard. Guards against Guards against falling off ledges with additional audio and vibration feedback. Prevents you from falling from ledges that will kill you. Oh. Yeah. Visual aids. I can turn on all of this, can I? Wow. <laughs> yeah. I'm just kind of sad they didn't add clothing options. Because, like I said again... You could put like a Jack and Daxter backpack on Ellie in the first game. You could put like the Jack and the uh, who who was it? Daxter's uh No no. Yeah, Daxter's uh goggles on Ellie's head in the first game. I don't know, you have to look it up on Google, but it's so cool. I like playing the game over again. It gives it replayability. Just to mess with the clothing options. You can put a T shirt on Joel in the first game. It's completely off. Because at the start of the first game, he comes in with that t-shirt on. And then you know how the first game goes. You play for 20 minutes, and then Sarah dies. And then you're already wearing your flannel. So it was kind of weird wearing a t-shirt through the whole game. I don't know. That was cool. I liked the game. Was it as good as Last of Us Part 1? No, but I don't think it was meant to be. I think it was just meant to be a continuation of... What happened after he told the lie? Well, we found out what happened. Ellie gets mad. Joel finds out she's a lesbian. Joel dies. Ellie was going to forgive him the next day, too. Ah, that hurts. She's going to watch a movie with them. And she found him getting whacked in the head. And then she kills everyone. And then lets Abby go. But he definitely showed her. Kill all her friends. Basically at the point of dying herself. She might be dead. Who knows. But she really almost killed her. Again. And just let her go. I think she just tortured her enough. So. Yeah. I don't mind it. Would I been a little bit happier if she killed her? Maybe. I mean, I would have felt fulfilled in a way. But it also would have been like a, eh, you killed her. What now? <laughs> you have no more goals in life. All you thought about was revenge. What are you going to do now, Ellie? So I think she took that second chance and gave Abby the second chance to change something. Maybe Ellie will develop a cure. Who knows? Maybe Abby will take up surgery or doctor work who knows what could happen if they make a part three i don't know if they will but this game already sold four million copies in a week so they already got the money to start making a third game <laughs> or a new ip they're not shutting down anytime soon anyone who commented or went to twitter is like naughty dog should be shut down for the shit game they're not the game already outsold The Last of Us 1 at the beginning week. It's not going to be shut down. They're going to keep going. Like it or not, Naughty Dog is continuing. Tango Softworks, or Tango Gameworks, released the Evil Within 2. No one liked that. I didn't like it. Evil Within 1 was a blessing in disguise. It was a game that no one expected to be as good as it was. At me, at least. And it was damn near perfect. Just a little buggy controls were whack if the evil within one 
had gameplay, and I mean the smoothness of this game, Evil Within would have been a 10 out of 10. That game was just a raunchy horror survival, and I loved it. This game, serious game. I love this game. Like I said, I gotta play it again to see what I missed. But other than that, I did it. I beat a game on my channel again. And I sorry I'm sorry I talked so much. I was just I'm flustered. I don't know what to think right now. I'm tired. As you see it was three AM. So yeah, I'm gonna end it. If you liked it, please leave a like. Comment below. I would love to see your opinions, good or bad. Go go crazy down there. I wouldn't mind to see hate down there or uh, loving comments. I will take both. Just don't hate each other. I don't want to see backlash against each other. Someone says one thing and then it just continues to go crazy in the reply section. I don't want to see that. I will probably end the thread and mute the comment. Or what do you do? Delete the comment? I don't know. Just don't do it, so I don't have to even try. Alright. Yep. Subscribe, please. I'm trying to hit 100. Maybe in two years. I'm giving myself an extra two years. I don't know if I'll hit 100, but... Let's try. Alright. Let's hit 100. I'm at 29 right now, as of June 27th. And... If you have a good day or night... For me, it's nighttime. I don't know where it'll be day. China? Uh... Yeah, just have a good day or night. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.